Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Darian Ellis and I'm here with the Houston 100, powered by the Minority Report. Today my guest is Mr. Kevin Dorsey, owner of Peebles LLC. Welcome, thank you for being, oh, for having me here. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us. Please tell our viewers about you and your business. Yes, uh, so my name is Kevin Dorsey. I represent Peebles LLC. This is gonna be a brand new restaurant venture here in Houston aimed at bringing a kids option to the Alameda Strip. We looking at Almeda as the new Black Wall Street, the new mecca of black enterprise in Houston. And what we want to do is bring a product from Louisiana with a Louisiana theme, outdoor theme restaurant, and make it kids oriented. No hookah, no hard liquor, just focus on the children's experience and give them good food. So what's going to make our restaurant a little bit of a niche is what we have planned behind closed doors. We're going to infuse this atmosphere with a Greek Louisiana style restaurant mm. with, you know, Zydeco, Mardi Gras bees and things okay, of that nature nice. to, to give it. But we have a unique feature that, you know, a lot of people don't know about right now. Mm -hmm. What we're going to have is what's called the dance walk. Wow. This goes back to my wife and my love for dance. Mm -hmm. We're going to make dance a central focus of the restaurant nice. by putting a catwalk in the middle and let little children five to eight dance it out once an hour on the hour to win prizes or t-shirts and just get the overall atmosphere as you know the vibe of the restaurant okay so so what would you say um i know you re you really talked about having a kid-friendly environment but um what drives that motivation to have the kids involved well it is the lack of godly counsel that we see mm every day right and as we know we live in an environment where black and brown bodies are not being valued as other bodies right what we want to do is subliminally show them black excellence visually okay. in an environment where they can ask hey what is that what does omega sci-fi mean what does kappa apple Psi mean you know mm -hmm. you know uh, what are these images that you know are are are, are, are being showed at this 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 restaurant right. and then what we recognize is you know, my wife has a background in dance. She owns a dance studio in North Houston teaching kids dance. So she has about 125 students. Wonderful. So what we want to do is infuse dance, which is our passion, in a restaurant and let that be the marketing for us. Let that be something that we take videos of, post to Instagram. People are going to be very happy to see their kids enjoying themselves. Okay. So what we realize is that this is the untapped market. There's no place where you can really bring kids and have a good time when the menu is tailored to them. The environment is tailored to them, right? right? So it's being premeditated and thought by giving them godly counsel, giving them somewhere where they can actually go and see black excellence on a regular. Mm -hmm. And it's a fun environment. I mean, dance is an international language. It don't matter what race or nationality you are, Mexican, black, Asian American, you understand dance in your in 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 the beholder of your eye right, right. so what we want to do is make an international language that everybody can come to and agree with and then center it around the children and let them be the focal point okay so what would you say um, has been your greatest challenge while building your business just people i'm going through a stage where everything is just starting and people don't understand that their wisdom is more valuable to me than their money. Mm. Everybody wants to know kind of how they can pitch in and how they can, you know, buy a piece when I need wisdom that will prevent me from making million dollar mistakes or million right, dollar, yes. you know, liabilities down the road. I'm at the brainstorming. God is doing the drive and I'm just in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. At this particular time, I'm getting the wisdom like lightning bolts. I know what to do, what, what we're supposed to be doing how I want the build out to look like, what the bathroom is gonna look like, I know. Right. So the thing about it is I need wisdom more than I need financial funds. Because wisdom for me right now in this planning stage, getting my supply line from my bread to my shrimp to my, you know, my em employees, the wisdom in doing that is worth more than money right now. I understand. So tell me, why would viewers um, and potential pat patrons why would they want to come to Peebles as opposed to any other business out there that sells So food? first and foremost is going to be the food. Mm. The food is going to be Louisiana themed and Louisiana oriented, made by my hands, my own recipes, right? right? That product by itself is missing and that's what I want to be the common denominator of the restaurant. The consistency and the food and the product that you can get in a timely fashion. 
Well, I want to position myself on the Alameda Strip, but I also want to be one of the most timeless options on the Alameda Strip. There's other businesses that are thriving, but there's an hour wait time, you know? There's other things going on where you have to, you know, wait in line for hours. What we want to do is provide an open outdoor concept with timely service. Okay. That way we can, you know, condense the menu down to just po' boy, something that's a seven to 10 minute prep time, and then we can be consistent. So that's number one. Number two is the environment. We want to definitely set it up to where we are kid oriented. So we've taken precautions with alcohol. We're only going to do the beer and wine, liquor license and daiquiris. Mm -hmm. And that way we'll kind of not have the hookahs and, you know, the adult type atmosphere where we can just, you know, kind of focus on the, the kids. So the atmosphere is second. Homely, you know, it's rich for learning, rich for, you know, laughter, rich for dance, rich for, you know, people to have a good, a good time. And the third option is economic. Uh, when we put out this kids menu, everything would be less than $10. We wanna have a good time for our entire family at a great, decent price. So we don't want to you know, be at uh, such a high price point where we price a family out. So we wanna have them a place where they can not only have good food, mm -hmm. not only have good atmosphere, but not leaving regretting checking your bank statement the next day. Right. So what would you say um, you've learned? I know you said you're building this, uh, building this business with your wife. What would you say you've learned most about yourself by uh, creating this business? Well, I kind of understood most about myself, about how I need to approach life. It's kind of set up to where now that I have it as a 40-year-old, you know, I wish I would have had it at 36. I wish I'd have got this idea at 30, but I wasn't ready. It lets me know where I am in my life right now and what God is willing to put on my shoulders. He say, hey, you can handle it now. Right. Hey, you can, you, you know, you're ready for this. You have the tools in place, the foundation in place to be successful. Right. I didn't give you something that you would choke under, you know. Right. And, you know, just to that, you know, it's the growth. God gave me an analogy about this whole business. The analogy was eating a 200-pound hamburger. That's what it was. It was <laughs> Let me explain. God said it's eating a 200 pound hamburger. Okay. Some people look at the hamburger and never even decide to eat. Hmm. They never even take a bite. Okay. They too scared to chase their green dreams. It's just too big for them to grasp. I see. They don't even approach the hamburger. I see. Some people eat hamburger too much all day. They get worn out on hamburger. Hamburger ain't even on their mind no more. They off the hot dogs. Okay. They didn't, they, they ate so much and got so burnt out that they couldn't understand that it's a long haul. I understand. And then some people take a bite of that hamburger every single day mm -hmm. with the world all to understand that that hamburger gonna disappear before my eyes. Right. Eventually it's gonna be a quarter. Eventually it's a, it's a half. Eventually, it's the third left, and eventually, there's no more hamburger. I understand. So what he's saying is, as long as you stay consistent and diligent towards anything you put in front, right, you will achieve a goal because the goal don't have an infinite ending point. Okay. So that was the analogy. So when you say, "Hey, what did it affect me?" It let me know where I was at, okay. and what I need to do to get to point B is just keep eating hamburgers every day. <laughs> Don't get tired of hamburgers. I understand. Well, we're going to have you guys eating Peebos. That's Bam. exactly what we're going to have you do. Please let our viewers know where they can find you. So we are right now, we're looking at a permanent location on Almeda and Isabella. Okay. We're going to be making this announcement in the next weeks. And we finally have our graphics back for our kids menu. So they turned me into a cartoon for the kids. Aww. So we're going to be rolling a little bit more things out as we come, but you can always follow us on www.pbos.com. That's our business website, Instagram and Facebook, Pbos also, Pbos LLC. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Darian Ellis, and this is the Houston 100, powered by the Minority Report. Stay tuned.